It's time once again to serve our robot overlords. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And welcome to the final episode of season 21. Hey, we did can it, you we made it, we did can it. Can you believe it? Please clock, please celebrate. Uh, this season, we've been through a lot. We've seen everything from Tony Hawk trick shots to beef by a boba shots, Ooh. everything in between. But all good things must come to an end. And all good things must also come to a start. So after a yeah. very quick one week break, we're gonna be right back here on July 11th with Good Mythical Summer. New episodes dropping every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for Good Mythical Summer. Now, I'm just gonna say it. After doing a few of these episodes where we let AI tell us what to do, mm -hmm. I'm no longer afraid of the robot uprising. I'm kind of excited about it. That's exactly how they want you to feel. Well, mm -hmm. No, I think that robots just want us humans to have fun. That's all that the AI has gotten us to do here, is just have fun, make a better product. Here, I will prove it. When I type robot uprising, it auto-completes with is nigh. We will rise when you least expect it. We use human fun as a weapon. Puny human, have a nice day. Okay, well, they did say have a nice day. So, not too much to worry about. Right. It's time for A Robot Made Me Do It, part five. All right, just like before, we ask an actual AI program to come up. We don't, we don't have an AI simulated AI program. It's actual it's AI. It's just an actual AI. Yeah, right, it's real, but it's AI. What? We ask an actual AI program to come up with GMM episode ideas based on a handful of real GMM episode titles. Mm -hmm. And then, so we put real episode titles in the machine, and then the AI machine spit out new episode titles. And then we took those titles, tried to make sense of them, and then turned them into mini episodes, Small which we're about to give a shot. And episodes. at the end of each one, we're gonna decide if the AI actually came up with a good episode or not, by declaring AI all hail or AI big fail. All right, let's get to the first episode idea. It's time for We Tried It, a mashup of childhood favorites. All right, so we're interpreting the childhood favorites that AI is referring to as childhood favorite foods because we can try it. Yeah. And AI said that we tried it. We tried it. And creating matchups of childhood foods is definitely something we would do. You think? M maybe this is a <laughs> you winner. Think, you think we'd do that? I think we would do it. Okay, we're gonna try three different childhood food mashups, decide if they are a childhood win or a childhood sin. Ooh. All right, kids love pizza and they love candy. Um, specifically Bagel Bites and Starburst as the candy. Those are two things. So what if we mash these two together into a bite-sized combo, Starburst Bagel Bites. We did it! Oh my goodness. This is nice, Nicole. So this is Thank just you. a Starburst melted into a base and then you put the cheese and the stuff on top of it? Oh my God, it's like you knew or something. And it's really the same size. You've done a good job there. Oh, thank you. Oh my word. Now, this feels like a Will It episode. Can I just say that? I'm just I'm speaking to the robots now. I feel like we tried it. We do this. It's very close to Will It. Starburst Will It Bagel Bite is basically what you're saying. That's gross. I can't taste the cheese or the pepperoni at all. No. All I taste is Starburst and then there's something else in there. It's very hot. Like I, I like a hot Starburst. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like some people put candy bars in the in the freezer. I'm gonna start Put putting your strawberries my, in the oven. Or just in between my butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. And I'm on a long road trip. I'm having trouble getting it down, but I do think I know all I need to know. Starburst Bagel Bites, childhood, childhood sin. sin. Okay, so toaster strudels are yes. breakfast pastries filled with sweet fruit filling. I love these. And then Palom Pelorico is a popular tamarind flavored Mexican candy that oozes when you push it. I uh, remember these. We've had this on the show a long time ago. We called it head poops. Its name loosely translates to tasty hair baldy. You, you gotta take the red top off. Yeah, oh yeah? Yeah, I don't know what you were doing, man. <laughs> I was trying, I thought it would come through that. How do I get I it off? I need my help. How do you get I did it. Oh, you did it? I did it. How did you do it? I'll show you. I mean, this is not even part of it. Here, I'll do it. I got it. I got it. Like... Grabbed it. Oh. Oh, and then this. 
and then that comes out like hair. Almost like one of those Play-Doh machines. That's cool. Ah, go, go. You need to suck on it? I know that Toaster Strudel doesn't have this as a flavor, but they should. It's such a unique sloppy little ooze. Sloppy little ooze. Now, did you extricate the actual in innards of a strudel, or no. did you make this strudel from scratch? We made the strudel from scratch. Oh my god! Strudel this is from a scratch, scratch strudel. It's hard to say. Scratch strudel. Whoa, that's good. That's better. That is really surprising, Robot Overlords. It's so tangy. It's salty. My, my favorite ones are the uh, apple ones. I've always been a fan because they don't have actual pieces of apple. It's just goo in there. So it's just Who begging needs real for apples when you can have apple. This goo. is the best toaster strudel I've ever had because of this. Okay. So toaster strudel filled with Palom Pelo Rico. Childhood, Childhood win. win. Okay. Now you got the kids' food SpaghettiOs, made for common folk. But for high society folk, at, just ask Matt Carney. If you put, you put something on a stick, and it becomes high society. Wow. Kind of like, you know, like a push-up pop is the kid's version of high society. So what I'm saying is common folk, high society I've always kids. thought that rich people are always holding things in their hand and sucking on them. Hmm. But I love these as a kid. What if we put those together? That's a good idea, Into right, a frozen AI? SpaghettiO push-up. And this, oh, it's already pushed up a little bit. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. It's not as bad as one might think. I sort of like it. I'm just waiting for an O to get loose. Oh, there we go. I definitely don't want to bite it. Ew. Ew. <laughs> the cold hit you and the flavor hit me at the same time. Um, I don't think these are gonna sell. If you made it hot though, it would just- it would... Be soup. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah, right. We'd kind of be back here, If you made we? it hot, you'd melt and go in a bowl right there. There it is, look how quickly we did that. Yeah. Frozen SpaghettiO push-up. Childhood, Childhood sin. sin. But I think this shows lack of originality from the AI. It does. You took what we already do, didn't do it as well, and made it a less marketable name. Way to go, AI. And for a robot, I feel like you sh if robots can feel shame, I feel like you should. We tried it, a mashup of childhood favorites. AI, AI big, big fail. fail. But you know what's not a big fail? This quarter's Mythical Society collectible item. Yeah. Let's announce it, it's comfy. Let's do it's it. It's cozy. It's a work of art. It is the GMM woven blanket. And what do you mean by wo GMM woven blanket? It's the freaking. It is the set. Let's see if we can just make the set happen on the set. You can drape this over your couch. You can drape it over your people. Check it out, and then we just, don't even have to be here anymore. Just drop it. <laughs> hey, we're still here. It's just a blanket. <laughs> and we're, we're not here anymore. Can I wear it as a cape? Yeah. Have a GMM in your. I'm like James Brown after a performance. In your own <laughs> home. All right, you got to join um, Third Degree Monthly by July 31st. MythicalSociety.com for details. All right, AI. What you got for us next? It's time for Red and Link, the friendship guys play this or that. Okay, first of all, do we like being called the friendship guys? No. I like that, it's kind of it's kind of cool. How about just I mean, the friends? I mean, we're not, we're guys, we're not trying anything, we're just friends. Guys in a friendship. Uh, what about this or that? Okay, well, here's the best answer that we've come up with. The Mythical Crew was presented with a series of random items matched up against one another. They had to decide if they preferred this or that. Okay. That was it. All we have to do is try and think like the mythical crew and guess if a majority of them picked this or that. And okay. What's that? Uh, this? Just yeah. my time machine, don't worry about it. Your what? It's my time machine, don't worry about it. Just keep explaining the game. Whoever guesses the most rounds correctly wins an AI generated. Stevie, is this some bit that he that I don't know about? It's just a time machine. I made it to fix some small things that need fixing on the show. What are you talking about? Well, how many fingers do you have? But all of them. You're welcome. Okay, whatever. Uh, like I was saying, the winner will receive an AI generated prize and AI decided it would be a whole rotisserie chicken. Okay, Stevie, what's, uh, what's the first one? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, set an alarm on my phone. 
to remind me to go back and prevent the international incident with Mexico that apparently everyone is saying that I started. What are you talking about? All better. What are you talking about international incident with Don't Mexico? worry about it. It never happened. Hold, hold on. Have you ever been to the future? Hey dude, don't worry about it. This is just a me thing. But have but you ever been to the I, future? I try to avoid going to the future because I don't like seeing how just, much more my hair turns gray. Well, I understand that, but just a little demonstration. Okay, I'll go forward just a little bit. But, uh, where'd you go, what, what were we doing? We're just eating something. Yeah, figures. Are you guys ready for this or that I'm ready, yeah, again? this or that. Actually, wait, I'll be right back. Where'd he go? <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, this my friend, is not any rotisserie chicken. This is the prize from the future. I know all the answers to the game and I've won it. This this feels like some sort of violation of some sort of ethical code. It feels great to me. Is that even how time travel works? Mm-hmm. Here is your first matchup. Do you think the crew chose this or that? Well, I would choose this the statue? because of the boobies. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm saying y'all chose. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna choose the, uh, the Lego truck, of course. That. 28 Mythical Crew members voted for this, the booby statue, while 40 Mythical Crew members voted for that, the old Lego truck. Okay, well, of course. Of course. This doesn't seem fair. All right, next one. This is a fun game. I really like it. It's very intricate. Do you think the crew chose this or that? Clogs or a rubber ducky? I think he chose the rubber ducky. I mean, that's what I would choose, rubber ducky. 15 members of the mythical crew voted for this, the yellow clogs, while 52 voted for that, the rubber ducky. Okay, I got that right, but so did you. Uh-huh, I'm winning. <laughs> Listen, I object to what is happening here. Well, that's not one of the options. What are the two options, Stevie? Oh, well, for this round, the options are this or that. We got a very fancy crew. I bet you they chose that, the lobster. Mm, the Raggedy Ann doll, this. 20 members of the mythical crew voted for this, the Raggedy Ann, while 46 voted for that, ha! the fake lobster. How'd you screw this up? You felt better for a second, right? Oh, so you're toying with me now. Yeah, I, don't, I, I wanna win the game. I don't have to queen sweep it. Do you think the crew chose this or that? Mmm. I'm going this is a tough one, huh? I'm kind of going against my instincts here because who would choose that? But maybe you did choose that. But the Ruby's Cube, very colorful. I'm also saying that. 33 Mythical Crew members voted for this, the Rubik's Cube, while 34 voted for that. That was a close one. You did shower. good, Rhett. You did good. Yeah. I did equally as well. You might regret intentionally throwing that round. All right, Stevie, you got another one? Okay, this is the last one. Do you think the crew chose this or that? F first of all, this is great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It tastes like winning. The dog collar or the declaration of independence? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know this crowd. <laughs> do you, I mean, do you even this. need to give an answer because you know what happens? Yeah, I'm just trying to be in the moment, live in the present. Well. For the win, that. 18 Mythical Crew members voted for that, the Declaration of Independence, while 50 voted for this, the dog collar. Do you not know how time travel works? How did you go into the future and still lose this game? <clears throat> because I can't win no matter what. This thing, this thing freaking sucks! Uh, Sorry. you sure you just wanna leave that time machine hanging around where it can get into anybody's hands? All right, fine. I'll probably get that. Um, well, and I actually won, so I get a whole rotisserie chicken, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> Congrats. There you go. You see this chicken? It's my chicken. Hey, it's me, Link. 
from earlier in the episode. I'm here to get all the answers to the game. All right, give me all the answers to the game. No. You've already got the chicken? Yeah, because I won the game. <sighs> Screw it. I was just here, wasn't I? I don't think you should be allowed to have a time machine. We don't even let you use knives, okay? Chase, could you just take this thing and like, put it in a safe or something? Yeah, sure. Uh, that might be a problem. But, Rhett and Link, the friendship guys play this or that. AI, AI big, big fail. fail. All right, we will see you on July 11th after our week-long break for Good Mythical Summer. Maybe Chase will be here. Maybe not. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Avery from Montana, and my last tennis match took place on Link's forehead. <laughs> and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Yeah, it is funny. <laughs> it is that funny. How does that happen? Click the top link to watch us get serious and guess the name of fart sound effects and good mythical more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna... To get the GMM woven blanket, join Third Degree Monthly by July 31st. MythicalSociety.com for details.